Then that was transferred to probably beta and one inch for duplication. That went to VHS. That was stuck on the front of a magazine that went to kids that bought that. I lost all the stuff in the meantime. One of those kids somehow transferred it into his computer and uploaded it to YouTube. YouTube. I snaffled it off the screen of YouTube <laughs> and stuck it, stuck it in here. The original existed. Yeah, it's just, so what you get is what you get. You know, and that, I, uh, I believe that, that's Yeah, that has to be done. But that, yeah. it's real. I'm glad you can see it that way because I, I like deterioration. Mm. Uh, uh, We've done a good job with a pile of shit, have we? <laughs> <laughs> We've done a good job with a pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> so when you, went, when you went back to it years later, what, did you have an idea of the story you are going to tell, or did you just turn the camera back on and let the story tell itself? Ooh, no. Um, I, saw a bit, I, I thought it was probably dead, and then, in fact, I bumped into Nicky here. Graham and I were doing a thing. Nicky right. came to pick up a mix or to drop something off for Graham. Like, oh, that's yeah. hmm. Then a couple of days later, rummaging through the pile of rotting tapes. Oh, that's some Nicky. I wonder. Maybe just wonder. And then starting restoring things, digging things out. Then got in touch with Nicky and said, You remember that film thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I took a load of Bits of rough cuts round to Nicky's and we showed them. It's me and my sharps. And, oh, that, um, yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> stuff. So, a yeah. little bit of uh, reflexive filmmaking and some catch up. And then, um, and, you know, that analog to digital journey, you, I'd had a couple of goes of finishing it years before uh, because editing used to be very expensive. And I used it to steal time in the edit suites after I'd finished commercial jobs in a hurry so that we could then get on with some proper work. But now, you know, we've got an editor at home because it's, you know, because you can. So, um, now seemed the right time. So you just time. went back there, turned the camera on and just basically let the story finish yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would just wanted to see me look at, you know, what my face would look like watching myself chat loads of shit back in the day. It's, it's a simple plot, but it kind of works. Yeah, 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 you know, it's, it's all good sitcoms are based on, but, you know, it, it, you know, when it, I've never, I've always had it in my head when, when, you know, I, I felt I would want you to know different things. I mean, people mention the music. I mean, I'm glad the music, or uh, whatever bits of music that was in there, you know, people are happy with. But to me, I, I mean, to me, it was a, an emotional fucking ride. Do you know what I mean? And, and seeing Dan say, you know, yeah. so I mean, you know, it, to me, it was that it was something that I felt needed to finish. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it meant a lot to him and it meant a lot to me, do you know what I mean? And um, the ending is just perfect. It wouldn't have been good if I had a record deal. It just, just <laughs> wouldn't have been a good film. <laughs> Why? What's, what's wrong with a happy ending? Pardon? What's wrong with a happy ending? Well, there's it, no wrong with an happy ending as long as it's not shit. <laughs> and that was a good happy ending because yeah. it's, it's a real one, you know what I mean? Like everybody runs off into the sunset yeah. holding the cock. <laughs> now everybody does that, you know. Well, I mean, I don't know anybody that's ever done that. <laughs> In the middle. Okay, so some questions. Uh, oh, quite. A bit. I was going to say, Nick, you're still doing stuff in the Manchester music scene now, aren't you? Doing a bit of DJing here and there. Oh yeah, um, is this a pull? Uh, uh, I don't have to hold it this close. <laughs> um, nah, yeah, I do. You know, I've always been a DJ. Got that off them two guys in the back there, um, Darren and Andy. Always turn me on with the. They didn't put the DJ. In. <laughs> <laughs> but I always got turned on by the DJing. So yeah, I'm DJing at uh, Gulliver's now, uh, fortnightly, but. Um, there's the plug. 
And uh, but I mean, still got that little studio going on. I came down a couple of years ago. Still got that little studio. Yeah, yeah, it's still up and running. I mean, um, I mean, Kwame, the deal with rapper in the Upla, is um, he's he's sort of developing an album right now. So um, the emphasis has been taken from that. But the Upla is the Upla for a good reason. It you know it can be Upla. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, uh, while he's off doing that. Funny enough, a guy called Sony Rig. There he is. There um, got interested in the last tune that was playing out. We don't care by the ugly. So you know, shit's just you know, shit keeps rolling. And you know, he played some tracks that day. There's some great stuff, but then I never heard anything about it afterwards. So is he just still getting tinkered with? Well, I mean, I, I, I'm the ugly. <laughs> so as long as I've got sperm in my balls and fucking blood in my veins, you know what I mean? You know, it'll be there. Because everyone else going to get to hear the stuff. It's a bit of a tangent there, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, I'm not, you know, I mean, music's, music's just part of... I mean, that's why I'm glad about this documentary, because it ain't a documentary about music. It's more or less, a, you know, it seems to be like sort of a life progression of this individual, do you know what I mean? Um, which is what I like about it. If it was just about music, I would probably went and out and got a fag ages ago. A cigarette. <laughs> 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 Put something on Fucking hell! <laughs> I've got to learn how to talk. <laughs> Nowadays, I know. Because I am just too fucking old school. Anyway, um, still call him fact. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give him my back to him. What's his question? Do you think you might ever like to uh, like revisit this again, maybe document some more at some stage, or do you think that's it? <laughs> off, off with the tunes or all the documentaries? Or just, like, just like this thing, you mentioned, so you like, might like to expand it at some point further down the line, maybe do a similar thing to... Expand? <laughs> 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 it's like, what's yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, somebody gives you a big long yeah. dog and says, Howard, would you like to carry this on? <laughs> and go with Nick, hey, it's some dough, you know, we're going to go, hey, hey. You mean come back another 10 years, or? Yeah, maybe 20 years down the line, maybe do a similar thing. If he's still alive, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> 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 when are you going to wrap up, Wait a minute, you, you haven't asked the question yet. Are you from a record? I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? He's signing. He's up for it. In the back. In the back. Can, can I say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to say, Nicky, I've known you since maybe about. It's Benji. I'm yeah, back. he's Benji. <laughs> I'm back. I've known you since you about 13, and I just want to say that this is a beautiful story oh, that really? had that had highs and lows. But the real thing about it is that it was a human story. That it wasn't kind of you didn't gloss over the hard times, and there were some things that I know that all of us as hip hop heads or whatever. When you, when you talked about beating down people, that's a hard story. And it's real. Or people have died in your life, and that was real. Um, and maybe what I'm trying to say is that, as an artist that grew up in our era, from the 80s onwards, and you know, you blew up in the 90s or whatever, is that it was a huge struggle. And you know, we're still, we're still continuing to struggle now. But the, you left the legacy that is so, that is a cornerstone. And this, this documentary for me is the first time I've seen one of my homegrown heroes, my homegrown homeboys go, actually we made it. This was it. This is it. In terms of when people look back on it and go, you know what, what was, what was Nicky Lockett? Well, actually, go, 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 go see the video. And you will realize it wasn't all gloss, it wasn't all fame. It was, a, it was about a real man trying to understand who he was through his music, through the people that were around him. And I think I got a real I got more out of this, this documentary than I've known than I've had of knowing you for maybe twenty odd years. Because of some real beautiful insight. I told the story and the fact that it was so rough and ready. Um, 
allowed us to kind of invest in a different way. So thank you, Nikki, for Perfectly, so beautiful insight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's perfect, then. Yeah. Can anybody else say anything after that? No. He's gonna have a go. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll be looking to to screen it where, wherever, oh, enter oh. to uh, <laughs> film festivals, whatever. But oh, oh. So guys, <coughs> hello. Hello. Have they got any money? Screening at Southwind. And the party goes on. <laughs> yeah, we'll turn up and do a misplaced banger ground for them. <laughs> <laughs> there, should be some, there should be some form of My, my daughter's mum yeah. uh, yeah. got a degree um, in multimedia at Salford University. I know a few cats down there, Joe O'Byrne does the... the oh, good act. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've done a couple of things with him. I'm in a movie. Uh, got a short part in a movie called Diary of a Bad Lad. Oh, that's such a great film. Um, I got a little spot in there, and uh, I've just done um, The Bar Stewards with Michael Booth, mm. which should be out um, this year or next year. So I would love to do another screening at Salford Fantastic. Okay, thank you. Well, thanks a lot.